Hi everybody, Husky Light here. Uh, thank you for uh, coming along and thank you for subscribing and your likes and your shares and your comments. Thank you. No angel cards this weekend. Um, I had a lot going on yesterday so I didn't put them up. I'm putting them up today for a very good reason and I'm doing a general reading for all of you for the rest of the week. Um, so from today, um, going through to the 15th, um, I want a full, this is a full week uh, that we're going through. Today is a really special day. Um, it is the 8th of the 8th, 2015. But it's also a triple eight. It's called the Lion's Gate. Uh, for those of you who have not heard of this before, um, I'll just briefly exp explain what is happening and the energies that you're going to feel during the week, what may happen during the week and how to deal with the energies that are coming through to you. First of all, let me say that a lot of you um, who are awakened or awakening probably already know about Lion's Gate and you will be feeling the effects of it. You may be feeling very tired um, with the heaviness um, and the strength of the energies coming through. So what you need to do is just rest as much as possible. So we've got August, which is the eighth month. We're on the eighth day of the eighth month. And 2015 is also a year eight, which is the year of strength. So we've got this triple eight. So it's particularly important this year to go through. And what this does is it is making us look at our life in detail it is making us giving us the opportunity to move through these energies and come out the other side um, more loving more prosperous luckier more, more harmonious um, with our collective energies with our collective consciousness and more as one so we need to use the energies that are coming through. We've got the lion's strength. The eight is the number of infinity. So the lion's gate, this happens every year, but this year is particularly important. So the lion's gate is, is like a portal, like um, a stargate, if you want to think of it that way. It opens every year, <coughs> excuse me, from July the 26th, and it goes through to August the 12th. But the most energy, the peak of it is on the 8th which is today. What happens is the energies that are coming through um, is going to be more information, more chance for you to get more answers to things, see more light, radiate more light, and think more about what you want and what you don't want and what you're going to take to the other side of the eighth of the eighth. It's pure light, it's radiance that is coming through. And if you are open enough to receive it, the most amazing things can happen. This is, again, miracles in your life. Now, during this week, because it's pure light that's coming through and pure energy, there is also going to be dark energy that comes through because it has to counteract itself. We need to avoid the dark energy, we need to stick with the light energy that comes through to you. And anything that dark that comes through, anything you have got resistance to, anything you know that you've got to do that you have to do, it's gonna be this week. Because we all have a test to go through, we all have a rite of passage that we are going to need to go through to be able to bring in the new, to bring in this light fully to us so it's about receiving information um, at it's a certain frequency that is going to come through to us um, I've already been through a couple of the seven laws of the universe and I went through the vibration the law of vibration that everything is on a particular vibration different frequency and if we can get in alignment with the frequencies of the eighth of the eighth that's going to be amazing for you. You're going to see so many drastic 
um, changes in your life. To start with, it may be bad. You're going to look like that tower's falling because it is. <coughs> that is destroying the old. That is destroying the things that really cannot be, absolutely cannot be in your life anymore in order to rebuild, to build foundations and move forward in a new light way with new information. So we've got to be able to access and utilize the light that is coming through. It's coming through from, we've got the strength of the lion, it's coming through from our sun. It's going to inspire you. It's gonna help you awaken more. It's gonna help you see what is really going on around you. It's gonna help you remember who you really are, to what you can be, to what you are, to be just in the moment, to give you more knowing, more knowledge and and give you more more of the presence of the divine of which you all are we are all spirit in in human form this is going to these energies if you can take them on and utilize them are going to make you see that are going to help you to to, to see the light even more so it's looking through, it's looking beyond the surface of things, going deep, looking deeper into things um, and watching that light filter through. What you need to do this today, especially today, especially focus, 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 do some meditation. Do not focus on any problems, any agendas any outcomes to anything and just simply be just be as still as you can today lots of deep breathing um, and turn your attention to love and radiance and wholeness within yourself that you can radiate out to others and become absolute true light this is going to change things so much for you so as I say, this happens every year on the 8th of August, but this year, because it is now a triple eight, um, it is very, very important. So core, the, the core number eight is simply about manifesting. Eight, eight, the master A8 is the, being the master of manifestation and creation and becoming empowered within yourself. And because it's a trinity, it's the Trinity Master of Manifestation. So you've got triple power. You've got the force of the benevolent <laughs> higher power and it's merging within you. It's changing you on a core level. Your angels, your guides, your collective consciousness, higher consciousness, God, all of that energy is now around you and working with you on a very deep level and you just have to allow and let it in and let it make the changes that it needs to make for you and, and for your life to get you on the right path and to change your life. There's gonna be so many things changing during this, this, this week. Um, and as I say, it peaks today. So today's the most important today, day to just be. Be quiet, go walk in nature, no arguments, be by yourself if you can go inwards and this is going to just manifest so many things for you but remember I said that there was also a dark energy there as well <clears throat> which we need it's going to try and knock us off track it's going to try and take us away from our intended path it's going to put that little voice inside of you saying no 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 I'm not good enough I can't do this I can't do this yes you can and you will <clears throat> that is what you have to avoid so everything is is happening this week it's going to give you so many more so much more information um, so many more answers to questions that you have it's going to help you as I say remember who you were who you are who you can be everything that you can be um, so I'm trying to explain this in the best way I can to you to help you understand how important this week is. Now, the cards that I've pulled for this week, 
as I say, that we've got a test and of course it's it's come up. Um, we've got this rite of passage. If we can get through that, if we can put full commitment into our how our lives, we want our lives to be and what we want in, uh, in our lives, that's going to propel us forward um, in, in probably ways that you've never even dreamed of. Once you've got the angels on your side, once you're aware of them, um, things can happen around you that are beyond explanation, which don't don't make sense to you. And you think, how is this happening? Why is this happening? Just go with it. Just relax and go into it and go with the flow. Whatever the energies are, because there are going to be conflicting energies at times um, as the dark and the light sort of have their little little fight together um, but what you want to do is obviously the light is going to win and you're going to come out on top <coughs> so we are starting out today uh, with the moon card from the start this is going through all of the week stay as quiet as you can we've got the moon card you are very intuitive or you can be very intuitive you may have a lot of emotions going on inside of you because of its water um it's about strong passions it's about prophetic dreams there is going to be a constant changing as i say of your emotional behavior there may be some confusion um there is going to be deception around you as the light and dark sort of play things out. A lot going on in your imagination. A lot going on all around. Um, there could be illusion around you which you are going to need to break through and, and see clearly. Because with the moon you cannot see anything. You cannot see everything clearly. And it is, for some of you, going to be quite um, not a clear time but it will become clear to you. You will start to get the answers with you as you work with the light energy. It's starting, it, it's inner awakenings that are going on. So it's it's also, it's a very feminine card. Um, it's sort of the 28 days of the moon phase. And it's about having faith, having complete faith and belief in whatever comes up during the week. You can get through it and you will see more clearly. I'd say a lot of imagery, you may see a lot of things that you don't understand. You may get a lot of messages down that you don't quite understand. You may get persistent messages down that you're to go in a certain path and you think well I don't really want to go down that path um, know that as long as you can feel that it is good the guides your guides are, are, are trying to get you to go down that path because that is the highest good that is the best path listen to your subconscious and your your inner voice because you are going to be guided um, along this week it's very very deep card um, you will never find all the answers to everything but as the week goes on you will break through and find more answers so this is sort of what you need to know this is how the energies are going to be this week for you um, and the dogs are, uh, there's two dogs on there, which is loyalty and it's staying loyal uh, to your light, to being a light worker, to being awakened, to listening to your spirits and guides. It's, it's being loyal to the light. And they will show you the path and you just have to go down that path with complete faith and trust, no matter what you need to actually we need to embrace the tower now the tower is upright to you it's in reverse to me that's the way it's come up so this is your rite of passage for all of us which we are all going to go through in a different way this week it will probably relate to whatever your worst fears are whatever um fears and doubts you have to get over you're going to be tested on that 
you are going to have to expand your your heart chakra and get as much love inside you and faith and trust to know that you can move past what is going to to happen it's it's fire it's the leo energy um which comes through and can sometimes destroy um any man-made structures that you have have made have built up which you think are right which which now have to be done and gone um, in order to be rebuilt in complete order to be rebuilt in the way that is best for you um, so you need to we need to expect there could be unexpected events um, there could be deception around you um, you a feeling of being trapped um, maybe some depressive moments during the, the week um, as your fears are shown to you or as, as, as circumstances change around you as things happen that you think oh my god why is this happening um, know that a lot of things that may happen that aren't that good this week are your creation no matter how much you don't like that there are things that maybe you've ignored them for too long and now they're coming up um, and saying no now you cannot cannot ignore this situation anymore now it has to be dealt with and this is your right of passage to be able to deal with it and get over it and move forward there are going to be changes um, there's going to be un unforeseen events uh, plans that you might have had in place which suddenly go to pot um, there could be loss of security all sorts of things may come up with the tower it's going to be very personal to you and as i say be love be light stay on the light side know that have complete faith and trust that whatever is going on whatever is happening no matter how bad it seems this is your rite of passage to get through and it's how you deal with this situation that is going to get you through to the other side um, facing you need to face the facts of what comes up do not ignore what is going on deal with it as logically as you can and come through it may be that people around you or certain people around you are an illusion to you they're not showing you uh, who they truly are they're not showing you their true personality and it's and it's a mask it's a facade and at some point this week maybe that mask is going to fall off and you're going to see them for who they really are and you're going to see their real true colors which is going to be a shock to some of you and that's something that some of us are going to have to deal with um and to get through these these unexpected changes that are coming through what we need to avoid <laughs> is we actually need to embrace the tower it, it, it's like a it's just like a fire going a, a fire going through everything destroying everything clearing to make way for the new doors to open and we need to avoid um, the ace of pentacles which is which is in reverse so that's a a pretty easy thing really um, although with everything going on we need to avoid um, greed we we need to avoid being overconfident um, we need to avoid false securities that may be around us um, we need to avoid the fear of failure we need to avoid being too materialistic about things having too much of a focus on money we need to avoid um, bad dealings with other people, mis misdeeds from other people. It's about your deep, there's, there's insecurities there. Um, do not get caught up in those insecurities this week. Do not get caught up in a sense of lack of or, or financial instability don't get caught up in being overly possessive um, of anything 
whether that be people, things, money, consider everything. Um, there will be a lot of pitfalls that may come up for you during the week. Um, the possibility of making mistakes may come up for you and this is all part of that tower coming down, just getting rid of the old and building up from the base and building a new, more solid foundations. It could be that you get money in and it just goes straight out the door again. Um, you will start to doubt yourself and think, I don't know if I'm going down the right road, I don't know if this is right. If you go into your heart chakra and you know that it's right and you know that it's light, then keep going forward in that direction no matter what dark energies come up with the tower to try and stop you. Because they can come in and tempt you with all sorts of things and you think, oh, it'd be easier to go that way. No, stick with what is in your heart, stick with what you know is right um, to go forward. And once you have gone through this rite of passage, once you have avoided these things, the way to go forward then is, is the Nine of Cups. I mean, they are the most perfect cards to come out for this week. So going forward is all about having that security in your life, knowing that you're doing the right thing, being generous, being completely loving, um, of having your hopes and your wishes come true and knowing that that's going to happen because you're working in that direction, realizing what your aspirations are, knowing that yes, you may have to work hard for it and that you may have to take on a lot of responsibility to do that work. But if that is part of your your life mission, is if that's part of, of um, your path, your life path that you're going down, that you know, then that's it, it's the wish card. It's indicating that can, if you can get through the hardships, um, deal with the problems that may come up, then things, may, things will come into fruition, things that you've wished for for a long time, um, things that you may have already been working hard towards are going to, to come through, you're gonna to start to see it coming through for you. It's this is <coughs> excuse me success. It depend. It's going to depend on your passion, your motivation, your enthusiasm for going forward um, to allow old conditions, old ideas um, to go, and allow the light coming in. Allow the energies from the eight eight eight, from the Lion's Gate, to come in and completely transform you and to trust and have faith and go with that and with that you'll you know a lot of lives could change um this week it's it's the yes card and that's the way to go now it's strange because just as a to, to tell you how strange things can get um last year i bought two stone lions um and i put one outside I put them either side outside of my front door um, and I, n I had no idea why I did that last year but I actually bought them around this time last year and I've just recently gone oh it's it's Lionsgate that's why I bought them it's the it's the 88 it's going through and my little doggy she um, she she has one little toy that she plays with but a couple of nights ago, um, she managed to come trotting in with a little tiny um, stuffed golden lion that I have not seen in goodness knows how long. And I have no idea where she found it or where she got it from, but she came trotting in with it in her mouth and gave it to me a couple of nights ago. Um, and the tag on the lion as well whoever made it, was it made in China or wherever, wherever it was made, there is a, bit, um, a big red heart on the tag of the lion. And she just came and dropped it in my lap basically and went, there you go. And I went, ah, okay. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a very big uh, time, profound time for a lot of us. So please go and look it up on the internet to get for more information. 
but today is all about being calm, being yourself, being positive, happy, being uh, meditative, being with your family and being loving in every way. Don't let the stresses and strains of anything today get to you and whatever happens during the week, whatever towers need to be taken down to be rebuilt, you may not see the answer straight away with the moon and there are things that you're going to have to avoid but you know in your heart what is right you know in your heart the things that you need to get through and once you've got through that that nine of cups is going to shine forward and it's just look out for all the meanings of things and all your dreams and everything that is going to come through to positive fruition your plans are materializing you are a co-creator as you are your thoughts are making things happen so keep those thoughts really positive no matter what dark energies come in and try and knock you off your feet try and do that so a long reading it's going to cover the whole of the week i'm sure when i do your individual weekly readings um and start getting those out tomorrow for a lot of us you know the tower's probably going to come up again it's going to um there's going to be stuff that's going to be repeated within the general reading um it's a rite of passage that we all need to go through so be aware of it um <laughs> namaste blessings and light and take loads and loads of care and i love you all and I'll speak to you soon